Hello everyone, hope you all are fine and are doing good. So this is Harshita and I'm your instructor. So in today's class, you are going to learn about a small introduction to Python. So students, do you have any idea about this Python? What is it? Where is it used? Why do we use it? You must be having many questions around you, right? So it's okay guys, you need not worry at all. Let us know each and every detail now. Okay, first, before knowing what Python exactly is, let us know the contents that we are going to learn in this session today. First, you are going to learn about the computer programs and then what is Python? Why do we need Python? Like how Python is installed in our systems and then what is Python shell and ideally is? And then comes to the Python comments. So you all will be knowing exactly what is all are and in detail, okay? Now, let us learn. Before we learn about Python, now let us learn about the computer program. So what is it? So before we also know about this computer programs, let me ask you one question. So students, have you ever been to a library? I think yes. You must have gone to your school library or the library which is there in your surroundings, like any public library, etc. Right? So what did you observe there? There are a set of rules and regulations that one must follow, right? So especially in a library, Whenever you go to a library, you must particularly follow these rules. Otherwise, you're not going to stay there for a long time. So what are those instructions or regulations that I have established for us? First thing is that we have to maintain silence. We shouldn't use phones then. We shouldn't tear any paper from the books we use. And we, while we are taking the books from the library, we should also ask the permission. So compulsory, whenever we go to a library, these are certain rules and regulations or instructions we can say we have to follow. So as we follow these instructions, whenever we go to the library, in the same manner, we have to follow certain set of instructions whenever we are dealing with a computer. Okay, to make you understand in clear, let us know more about this. So what is this computer programming? Why do we need this? Like if I ask you a question, what is two plus three? Your answer, mom, I know it is five. But if the same question, if I ask what is two plus three to a computer, it won't answer. Yes, definitely it won't answer because it won't understand what we are asking it because it don't know our language. You might be asking it in English, someone be asking with Hindi, other will be asking in their own languages. But how computer can understand it? So for this purpose, computer has its own language, which was developed by us humans itself. So the interaction between us humans and the computer is known as the computer programming or this particular quotes. So a computer program is a collection of instructions that can be executed by a com computer to perform a specific task. So as you can see over here, there we have a set of instructions, right? So here we have assigned some value as five to an alphabet called X and 10 to some other alphabet called Y. So, and then we have used this word known as print to execute this X plus five, that is to perform addition operation. So this is nothing but a certain pattern or a set of instructions that are we are giving to a computer to make it understand our language. So simply if I say computer that uh, add five plus 10, it won't understand definitely. But instead, if I use the same five and 10 to some variables like alphabets to make you, make you understand clearly as we have used here X and Y, not only X and Y, you can use any of the alphabets among the all 26 alphabets. So here we are using this X and Y. And if we ask, the particular word called print, like x1, x plus y, then it will print. That is, it will give you the result known as 50 over here. So these are the set of instructions. That is the code that we are giving to a computer to make it understand what are we actually asking for. So in detail, you'll learn more in this Python class. So what is this Python? As I have said, it is a general purpose language, which is used often in the scripting roles. So basically it is a uh, kind of bridge, you know, between the users and the computer. Whatever we want to uh, ask computer or whatever answers we want from the computer, it can be only communicated through this language. So Python is a computer programming language. 
it is very easy to learn and it can be very easy to write also you know among all other computer languages students you know not only python there are many other computer languages like c java c c++ but why aren't we learning all those languages by only python is it's because python is very easy it is so simple and powerful tool also like it is an interpreted language while you write certain code in other languages it is very big students it, it is really very big and difficult to understand but when it comes to a python it is very simple clear and everyone even you me anyone can understand because it will be in english only that's what is the uh, you know simpleness of python is okay now you must be wondering why do we doing this python as i said it is the bridge or a like it fills the gap between us and the computer network so where does this python works python generally works on all kind of platforms we have like on windows mac linux raspberry pi etc on every platform you can just install and start using this python it is a simple it has a very simple syntax like english language as i said earlier so it is very easy to write a code or instruction in python so that the computer and even us humans can also understand it very easily and quickly and python has a syntax that allows developers to write programs with a fewer lines than some other programming languages yes it makes the code very simple and in a few lines itself whereas in other language it takes a lot of time and it is too big students like that's why we are using python now so that is all for today hope you got the very basics of the python class so in the next class you will be learning how to install python in your pcs okay students if you have any doubts let me ask, let, let me clarify you in the next section thank you